Hello again! Today I'm on my way to a workshop with Jens Torp and it will be held at the wonderful house of my friend Trace Beertema. And look what I'm seeing on the horizon! Always a good sign, of course. And here we are, half a minute later, and it has turned into a complete rainbow. Such a beautiful sight. You don't see that very often. Look at it! Well, I'm driving right towards the end of the rainbow. Do you think I'll find something there? <laughs> Well, I didn't find a pot of gold, but I did find some silver. See? <laughs> we were making a silver book cover and here is Jens's gorgeous example. And um, ours will not be as beautiful as this one, of course. Um, and as usual, I forgot to take photos or video in the beginning, but basically we started with a sheet of silver and measured, marked, cut and shaped it to fit the leather book we were making it for. And then we had to solder the four corners and also solder two bits of round wire to it, which was the start of a clasp lock. And of course I could not film it because I was working on it myself, but um, I did most of my own soldering because I wanted to learn and it was it was scary, <laughs> I'll tell you. I was so afraid my piece would melt into a blob. <laughs> and of course I messed up one little bit and uh, so Jens had to help me after all. <laughs> and this was not my piece by the way, uh, Jens was just soldering the pieces of the other students. And um, I just wanted to show you the process a little bit. And of course at home he uses a large burner and here we have these little torches to work with. <laughs> My design for the book cover is quite simple, flowers and leaves. I always like that, but I must say the other students came up with some pretty cool ideas and I'll show you some of them later in the video. First I have to cut out my design. Early next morning, on my way to class, I just had to stop here because the sunrise and the fog across the fields was so beautiful. What a great start of the day. And a quiet start for the class too, even though everyone was hard at work. What you do? Oh yeah. yeah. Short you the lock has to be soldered on. Or not sold, it cut. Like I said, there were some wonderful designs and Jens had been instrumental in some of them. And this design I particularly liked, the painter's palette. This book is going into a miniature version of the house of Rembrandt, the painter of course, which the student is working on. So, very appropriate. Ja, dat vind ik Rembrandt. Ja, is echt mooi. Ja, 
Ja, want het is zo stil anders. Ook oh, weer zo mooi. Dank je. Helaas is mijn cartouche geen gevuld. Wat is hier? Ja. Cartouche is de middellijn van de cartouche. Die nou, hij is een beetje geen. Dus, maar dat gaat hij nog herstellen. Ik denk dat het niet zo diep is. Dus ik kan het, uh... Nou, hij, hij zei dat hij het kon herstellen. Ja, dat kan, dat kan ook. Ja. Maar verder ben ik niet onder. Ik kan me voorstellen. Nee, nee, is dat ook iets van. En dan veilig in het uit. Oh, en dit is de Sherlock Holmes one, right? Dit is de Sherlock Holmes. De pipe en de Sherlock Holmes met de little. Loepen. Magnifiers. Magnifiers. Wonderful. Ja, ik heb nog gepikt. Ik heb vandaag weer een nieuw meegenomen, we hebben het weer niet. Goed hè? Goed hè? Ja. It's fantastic. Really, really good. I love it. And this you're done. Yes. Now here you could do a little bit more, but I think when they're connected, um, it's much easier to hold it. You could obviously hold it, you can get hold of the bits. But things like um, on the back, there, there's still uh, remnants of solder and uh, things like that with the hand. Um, that little knob we use for clicking it back, that can be rounded and softened a bit. But um, that's perfect. So you're ready for the drilling? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Now I got. A little job I'll just do. Um, yes. I'm going to prepare some 0.6 uh, millimeter wire. I don't think I brought it, but I got some slightly thicker, so I'll pull it down um, and, and uh, you can watch me do that as well. Yes. Like that. It's exactly what they used to in Victorian times put mm -hmm. steel boats together. So, riveting, you hammer it on top, and when you've done that, you turn it round and you do it equal both sides. And it's very important, it's supported when you do it. If you don't, you just bang it in like a nail. So it, it must be, you must have steel behind the other end. And when you've done that, then this marvelous tool here, you choose the appropriate size to cover that, okay? Mm -hmm. So you put that on top and then same motion as before when you made rings. Okay. You just make the end of that nice and round and it won't catch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very simple yeah. operation. So it has little holes in there on top of the first clinker. A little yeah. half pack. And it has a little bit of a little bit of a little bit And that does it with a little bit of a little bit of a Who wants to steal that? <laughs> Some people were finished and could start on their polishing process. And I thought this was another great design, the zodiac sign of Scorpio. And here are most of the other pieces. None of them finished, of course, as this was during or just after engraving. And I love that all of the designs are so different. So everyone's made a really personal book. This is mine. And that last day I didn't do very much at all. Uh, I just decided to finish the work at home. 
and on my way home that night there was a beautiful big moon rising and I stopped at the exact spot where that morning I saw the beautiful sunrise. Wonderful! Last weekend I um, worked on, I, I took a class with Jens Torp and we're working on, uh, or I'm working on, making a cover for a book. And this is a book made by Tine Kreine and it's made specifically for the silver cover. And of course my design isn't finished yet at all. It still needs a lot of engraving and uh, they're very simple flower motifs with leaves. And um, But I, I hadn't finished it. I took it easy I, I did all my well most of my <laughs> most of my own soldering and um, so I was a little bit behind uh, but I was working on creating the lock on the book so I've made a little clasp if you can see that and that goes in here eventually and now um, so that will be like that. And that's how it will lock the book like that. And now I have to drill holes in here because I'm going to put a wire through there so the clasp can grab onto the wire and I have to drill holes through there and through there so um, I don't have any fancy drilling equipment I just have my Dremel so I'm going to use that and I have a 0.6 drill which Jens gave me because I hadn't finished I was going to finish at home. Oh, very dusty. And I hope it will fit in there. I think it will. Oh my goodness, that's sca so scary, <laughs> but it's in and it's in the center. Now I have to do the other one. <sighs> Same process. <laughs> you may think, why do you think it's scary? Well, it's not that I'm afraid of drilling. I drill all the time. That's not it. It's just that um, my Dremel is not really suitable for drilling in silver. It doesn't have an adjustable speed, or at least it doesn't have a foot pedal to adjust the speed. The speed is not right. It's heavy, so it's difficult to hold and maneuver. And um, jewelers have this hanging motor which has a, a foot pedal, foot pedal which, um, with which you can adjust the speed and it allows you to drill very precisely and um, it also has a much smaller handpiece which gives you a lot more control but these hanging jewelers motors are expensive so I don't have one <laughs> but I managed as you could see now Let's see if the wire fits. Yeah, it fits. <laughs> well, that's a relief. <laughs> And now I've lost it. <laughs> now it's on my 
it's over here. There. Well, I finally managed to um, make the clasp and make it fit there. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of work and uh, my thumb really hurts from trying to hold on to that piece um, because you have to hold it tight because you have to saw and file and um, a lot of work goes into that that tiny little piece um, and it's been on the floor oh, at least 10 times <laughs> because I couldn't hold on to it and it just you know flew away or dropped on the floor I need to do some engraving on this piece and uh, I'll do that with a tool like this and then I can create lines and uh, little curves and I'll tell you it's not easy it's 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 a great skill um, I've done it I think twice before and it's really difficult um, yeah you need to practice but one of the difficult things is that you're it's very difficult to hold so I bought this. It just came in today. There. And this is the tool. How does that work? Okay, there. You can open that and it has oh yeah. It has these little pins, and then if you put your, well, I can close that, it's small enough. You can open it if, if your piece is a lot bigger. Um, I guess I don't need to do that. Put that there, and then put your pins in, and then you can just sort of lock it in place. Um, like that, for instance. That attaches to the bottom. There we go. So you can just hold it like that. And then you don't have to hold onto your piece. And you can also put it into the vise. So then you'll have two hands. But um, this way, you can just lock that in place and sort of move it without moving it. You can do your engraving. Okay, so I think this is how you're supposed to use it. I opened it up uh, a little bit wider, then put the pins in um, as close as they would go. And then I'll close it back up. And that way... The piece is locked into place. And by the way, this is not an expensive tool. I think it was 13 euros. So I think it's worth buying. So I have found that the vise doesn't work that well. And now I've put it in here. Oh, because that fits. That bit right there, in there. And then I can turn it and... Um, uh, because you have to work on different directions. So, and then I keep changing the pins as well. I thought once it was in, um, but that's not true, at least not for me. I keep changing them, so I find the best position for them while I'm working. So that one, that's a leaf. And it comes out over the edge, and I'll try to do that, so you can see that. Thank you. 
This is so difficult. That's going to be hard. And then I'll have to draw the shapes on because I can't remember everything. Well, my finger is absolutely <laughs> bruised from uh, pushing on the engraving tool, but I think I am finished. Um, don't know if you can see that, but I think I'm there. Um, now I have to do some uh, more uh, finishing papering first using some sandpaper, uh, special sandpaper, and then um, I think it's ready for polishing. Of course, I also have to do the back. <laughs> I finished all the engraving on the back and uh, cleaned it up and now I have to attach, attach the little lock to the back here. Like that. And um, I'll use a bit of tape to hold it together because it will fall off. I don't know what that is. So that goes in there. That should make it a little bit easier. Oh. <laughs> I thought I had the silver in my fingers. That that finger from from the um, uh, engraving it got it's so sore. Well, it's not so much sore, but I don't have a lot of feeling left in it because I uh, I think I spent about five hours engraving um, yesterday, and now it's uh, it's a bit numb. <laughs> doesn't really hurt but it's but it makes it difficult to feel what I'm doing so that should go in there yeah, yep yeah, there it is there and now I have to cut that off and um rivet that on there okay i think i'm ready for polishing i engraved everything cleaned it up riveted the lock in place um i also cleaned up the you know i missed <laughs> i made some mistakes and um there were some big scratches in there i cleaned those up um so i think i've done everything i should do and um, I'll start polishing. And I'm doing that in this box because polishing is messy and I don't want to get that everywhere. And I'm also going to be wearing a mask because, um, again, it's gonna you're going to breathe in all that stuff. Not very nice. And I'm just going to use my Dremel again because that's what I have. And um, I put this brush this bristle brush in there. I don't know if it's too, the bristles are a bit hard. I'll have to check. I'll, I'll try it on the back first and see what happens. And um, otherwise I also have another one. I can use that one, but that one may be a little bit soft. We'll see. This is going to be noisy. <laughs> okay, mask on.
Okay, I think it's a oh sorry my mask. I think it's okay. Um the box is not ideal because it's very soft, but um it does catch catch a lot of the debris. Um I think the brush is okay. I need to stop filming though because I need to get close to it because I can't really see what I'm doing. I finished polishing um, of course I already dropped this one <laughs> and I touched them with my fingers so there will be a little bit of finger marks on there but um, I'm quite pleased with how it turned out of course now I have to put the put them on the book and apparently that's uh, quite a little job as well so but yeah I'm happy It's finished. I'm actually quite pleased with that. Here's the back. And I also did some engraving on the little clasp it's hard to tell, but there's a little leaf on there. Uh, that was hard because I had to do it when the class was already finished and uh, it's hard to maneuver in there. So that was difficult. And uh, so the book's in there. Yeah. Very happy with that. I still have to find a home for this little book, um, but I think I'll put it in here for now. Until next time.